Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not. And I'm coming to you from the sofa. I don't think I've done a sofa-type thing since I've moved. But today, I want to show you a pretty cool um, nosing glass for whiskey. So this is certainly a, a video that's oriented towards adults, or people at least of the drinking legal drinking age. Snoot. Or at least that's the way I'm saying it, and if I'm wrong, forgive me. Um, snoot, you know, like snooty, fancy, also nose. Uh, this company makes a nice uh, nosing glass. Now, I've shown you before the Nor, Norlask or something. I can't remember the name of this glass, but it, it's a cool glass. The problem is, in this room I'm in, I have tile floor. If I drop this glass, shatter into many, many pieces. Believe me, I have done it. And the same goes for your standard Glencairn, you know, glass. So if you happen to be over a hard surface or even over a countertop, if you drop the glass, cancel Christmas, it's done. With the snoot, a little bit different. As you can see, here is the glass. Well, let's, let's just give you a look at it before I talk a little about it. So here's a look at it. The interesting thing about this one, it's got a little pad on the bottom, which if you set it down on a table or a counter, it sort of stays in place, so it doesn't slide really easy. Uh, also, this is stainless steel. According to the bottom, it's, uh, what is that? If I can read it, 18.8 or 18.3. I can't really see it, so you know you can look it up yourselves or maybe I can uh, find it on this um, uh, packaging, which is, it, it comes in nice packaging, by the way, nice, robust, um, container, two of the glasses in here. I will link the uh, product, which can be found on Amazon below, in the details below. So sometimes you have to click, but you'll see the link. So if you're interested in these glasses, again, stainless steel. So if I drop this, the worst thing that's gonna happen, probably maybe scratch it, maybe dent it, I doubt it, but it's gonna be way different than my actual glass uh, glasses. Just as a size comparison, this one is a little bit bigger than your standard Glen Cairn. Um, whoops, I just dropped the box. <laughs> anyway, uh, but not much. I mean, roughly the same size. This one's probably a little bit bigger. You know, I'm not going to regurgitate to you all the manufacturer, how many ounces and all that, but it is important from a material perspective. Let me grab the box here. Anyway, just picked up the box. The other glass in there fell out and hit the floor, no problem whatsoever. Of course, it's it's wrapped, but no no breakage. And that's the main thing I wanted to get across to you with respect to these snoot uh, glasses. And again, if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. I also have some tumblers to show you, but I want to give this one a whirl first. I mean, if I don't give it a whirl, I mean, I'd be doing you guys a disservice. I'm gonna use the Lagavulin 16, which is really, really nice Isla whiskey, which I like a lot. Oh, that smells great. If you like peat, you know, this is a very, very good whiskey, and so we're pouring ourselves a little. Anyway, I think the, the gentleman who sent me these mentioned that this would be a really good glass for blind tasting. So, and it would, because you can't see in it, so you wouldn't be able to tell. Not that you can always tell just by looking at a spirit what it is, but... You know, it certainly does lend itself to easy nosing. No problem whatsoever there. Um, feels good in the hand, so no problem there. And again, for me, the, the biggest selling point, stainless steel. It's not heavy, though. Um, it's not much heavier than this Glencairn. I think mainly because of the base they put on the Glencairn. That's probably solid. It, it's got some pretty good heft. Whoa, I'm throwing out my... That was a bad thing for me to do, to throw out my <laughs> Lagavulin. So let me uh, go ahead and take a drink before I splash it all out. That, that's that's horrible. Oh, this smells great. Let's... Fantastic whiskey, folks. If you are a fan of Scotch whiskey and you haven't had Lagavulin 16, it's a little on the pricey side, but a really good... Uh, whiskey and honestly no problems whatsoever with this uh, glass. I think the the uh, fellow who sent it also said if you wanted to plop some ice in it um, It'll keep the ice in there perhaps a little bit better than glass, but I'm not plopping any kind of ice in my uh, whiskey nosing 
uh, glass ever. I like my whiskeys neat. You may not. If you want to use ice, go ahead. I'm not a, a snob when it comes to uh, whiskey. Drink it however you want, but typically something like this, you know, maybe a few drops of water and then just try to enjoy, um, you know, both the aroma and of course the taste. And generally speaking, the rule is, you know, you give it about three whiffs and then you take a, a drink, you hold it in a little bit, take a breath that goes that it goes down beautifully. Uh, nice glass, really. Um, the inside there is silvery. Uh, no problems whatsoever with this glass. I'm going to set it down here. And we will show you the tumblers, uh, which I pulled one out for you. But this is the box that they come in, also labeled uh, Snoot, a snooty person or snob is what the, the, uh, the packaging says here. Again, good packaging. Um, so the tumbler here, is also stainless steel. Um, there's a look at the bottom. Nicely made, uh, really. Now this one also has a uh, a cap on it, sort of like Yeti, with a slider, so you can, you know, close it. If you're sort of walking around, you don't want it sloshing all over the place. You can put the cap on it. That's pretty good. Uh, this also stainless steel, so if I'm dropping it, I'm not nearly as concerned as if it's a regular tumbler. This is a nice tumbler also. Um, again, it's kind of got a wood grain uh, color to it. So if you're into that, um, you know, again, this says 18, eight, uh, stainless steel, hand wash only uh, is the labeling on it. So I would follow those recommendations, but nice tumbler. I'm sure if you put the ice in this one and then capped it off, that it would, if you're one of those people that uh, drinks things on the rocks, it would keep it cold um, probably a good while. Sort of like a Yeti style um, tumbler. This is a nice tumbler. Again, the, the packaging there. So what I really like about it, stainless. So I'm not worrying about dropping it. But surprisingly, it's pretty light like uh, an aluminum. I don't know much about steels to be honest with you. But this is pretty light. Um, in fact, lighter than my like Yeti coffee mug, I think. Um, Feels pretty light, feel, definitely feels durable, and obviously it's gonna be more durable than a glass or ceramic type tumbler. So here, once again, the, uh, well, let me reach down, I'm sorry. The Snoot, or it might even be Snooty. I, I mean, I don't know. It's, you know, it's got the mark, it might be Snooty, Snoot, whatever. It doesn't really <laughs> matter to me. I realize to the people who send it, it probably is, but I'm just here to show you the wares. I will link it below. You make the choice on whether or not you want to buy it. I do like it though. I think um, they're nice drinking vessels. Definitely nice for nosing on the nosing glass. And so this will be my, uh, I guess, initial impressions on the snoot or snooty, however you want to say it. It's up to you. <laughs> um, drinking, you know, the nosing glass and the tumbler. I like them. Um, and again, I will... Uh, I'll nose a little bit with this one and might as well have another drink. Sorry for splashing that whiskey out um, early on. That was a very big mistake because that's a really nice whiskey and you don't want to, you don't want to be wearing it. You want to actually consume it because it is indeed a very nice whiskey. Really smooth, the Lagavulin 16. If you're a fan of Isla or whiskeys with peat, Scotch whiskey, Check it out, it's good. And also check out the, uh, again, Snoot or Snooty or whatever. <laughs> and I, I apologize, I don't, I don't mean to sound uh, disrespectful to the manufacturer because these are really nice drinking vessels. Let me look on my machine, my PC is nearby just to see. I think the, um, I think that's, these, as of right now on Amazon, are $35.95, so two stainless steel. Again, two come in this packaging. Again, if you're interested, you're going to be drinking, you're going to be walking around the house, you're going to have one in the, let's say you're in the bathroom having a shave, and I know a lot of people don't drink whiskey in the bathroom, but some people do, or you're, you know, hovering over a, a, um, a counter or you're outside on the deck or something, you don't wanna worry about breaking a glass, this would be a really good option. Durable, feels good. It's not 
heavy. And so please keep that in mind. Again, I like this pad on the bottom too. It just feels nice. You know, you set it down on something and it doesn't scoot around. So I like them. If you're interested, check out the link below. Uh, Snoot, Snooty, whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, buy them if you want to. I want, as always, I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks to the good folks at Snoot for allowing me to try these. It gives me a chance to really consume a nice whiskey again. So until next time, I am CDB. You are not. God bless.